Scientific Method The scientific method consists of observation, hypothesis, experiment, and conclusion. In the observation, what you see, you observe, and you also use your other senses, but you mostly use your sight more than the other senses in observation. The purpose of the observation is you want to know why. So something happens and you want to know why does it happen. That leads you to the hypothesis. In the hypothesis, you make an educated guess. It's not just a guess, it's an educated guess. That means you have some information, some background information about what you want to know about. Then you test it out on the experiment and finally you make a conclusion. So let's apply. Let's take for example, we observe that blanket can keep you warm. So your hypothesis is your educated guess, the blanket must produce heat. That's something you're guessing. Now you base the information on the background that heat is involved because you know that blanket warmth has to do with heat. You might guess that the blanket produces heat. So in our experiment, we test it out. For example, we put a toy under a blanket. An hour later, we come back and there is no heat. So our conclusion so far is that heat is not from the blanket. Hmm. So the question is, where does heat come from? So we know that the toy and the blanket, there is no heat. Sometimes one experiment will lead to another. In our case, for example, what we see, what we observe about the toy and the blanket becomes an observation for our next scientific method. Then we follow by the hypothesis that, well, therefore heat probably comes from our body. So what we do, we test it out. And then once we test it out, we find a conclusion to be true. Now conclusion is not about proving something is true or false. It's about supporting your hypothesis. And the experiment must be repeated, can be repeated by other people. Otherwise, an experiment that you cannot repeat, then it doesn't really count. So let's say you go to school and you have a quiz at school on the scientific method. And you're freaking out. You're like, oh heck, what is the scientific method? I totally forgot. Well, here's an easy method to help you remember. It is, oh heck, yes. Oh heck, what is the scientific method? And that's exactly what it is. Oh heck, O for observation, hypothesis, experiment, and conclusion. So the next time you forget what the scientific method is, just think, Oh heck. For your information, let's talk about the blanket. Your body release heat. Now, it's the same heat that when you're active in sport, but you release much more when you're active. And on a winter night, when you're under the blanket, the blanket purpose is to trap the heat. That way you feel warmer. It's the same thing with clothes. Both of those things are designed to keep you warm by trapping the heat. Now, the moment when you lift up your blanket, it feels a little bit colder. Now, it's not about the cold rushing in. People misunderstood that. They think that cold rush in. It's not that. It's the other way around. It's actually heat rushing out. Now, here's a few ways to stay warm. One way to stay warm or to get warm faster, you can put the blanket over your head. Start to breathe normally like you would. Your breath release more heat than your body and faster too. Eventually, you'll warm up much faster. Another way is to use two layer, one blanket on the top and one blanket below you. The reason is because the heat is lost from the bed. The heat seeps through the bed. The bed is made of springs and other stuff, but it's not designed to keep you very warm. So you can lose heat through the bed. So when you have two layer of blanket, you stay very warm. Now, if you don't have two blankets, you can only have one, you can wrap yourself into a burrito. So lay the blanket out, lay on one edge of the blanket and start rolling. Make sure to give yourself some space so that way you have room to uh, move your arms and such. You don't get so tight. So make it a loose burrito. Now, another way to stay warm is to cover your hands, your feet and your ears because those part of your body is where heat loss is the most. 
you can use earmuffs, gloves for your hand, and socks for your feet. And another way to stay warm, well, there's always body heat. So what kind of blanket do you have?